Inside the huge air-supported building is a 10 kilowatt nuclear research and training reactor, the first one of its kind in Ireland. And during the next month, it's to be used by a number of firms and research organizations for experimental purposes. And for the ordinary visitor to the exposition, groups of science students will explain just what goes on down there at the bottom of that tank and its shield of 17 feet of demineralized water. For those who don't know what an atom is, never mind a, a proton, a neutron, or an isotope, there are simple explanations of not just what they are, but what they do. Flickering lights, simple models, and the well-prepared scripts of the guides show many aspects of the power of atomic energy. The massive engineering tasks for which other explosives would be unsuitable are too costly. The making of new harbor installations or canals, for instance. You can age whiskey with radiation in a matter of days and trace radiation in humans, in plants, and in all sorts of materials. But you can't mess around with molecules and radiation. You must keep your distance. Radiation has to be blocked off by shielding. And you can try your hand at using the remote handling equipment, which is rather like trying to pick up a gift with one of those mechanical cranes which you come across at carnivals. By the time this exposition closes at the end of October, 5,000 secondary school students will have attended lectures in the new science classroom. And Irish scientists will use the gamma irradiation facilities of this cobalt-60 unit for experiments in the inhibiting of moles on wet grain samples and storage, for instance, for dehydration and in sterilization and packaging. And school children from all over the country, it's estimated about 60,000 of them, will have seen atoms in action. Dr. Glenn T. Seberg, chairman of the United States Atomic Energy Commission, arrived in Dublin this morning. He is one of the co-discoverers of plutonium for which he received the Nobel Prize. Dr. Seberg, does the United States Atomic Energy Commission deal purely with the peaceful uses of nuclear energy? Yeah, the peaceful uses of uh, nuclear energy is an increasing, uh, uh, accounts for an increasing fraction of uh, the uh, United States Atomic Energy Commission's uh, uh, responsibility. But uh, in the United States, the Atomic Energy Commission also happens to have the responsibility for the military aspects of atomic energy. Now, this exposition, which opened this afternoon, again, deals with the peaceful applications of uh, nuclear energy. And you yourself led the American group, which signed a memorandum of cooperation with the Russians a couple of years ago. Now, what sort of cooperation is there in this field? This cooperation consists of uh, exchange visits of scientists, uh, singly and uh, in groups. Uh, American scientists to the Soviet Union and Soviet scientists uh, to the United States. It consists of um, uh, scientists from each country working in the other uh, for periods of time, uh, four to six months uh, or longer. And it consists of the exchange of reports and documents uh, in the field always of the peaceful uses of atomic energy. Well, one can see how America benefits from this and how Russia benefits from this, but where are the benefits to the small countries, countries like Ireland? The work uh, uh, under this uh, exchange agreement, as well as much of the other work that is uh, concerned with the peaceful uses of atomic energy, is published. So this is then available uh, in the scientific uh, journals and in the technical journals and in the public media generally. In a small country, an exposition like this, must perhaps make people just a little envious. In a country which doesn't have a great deal of money and which can't afford to buy nuclear reactors or gamma ray facilities or the brains to produce them, where are the immediate benefits? Well, uh, in many cases, however, this will do better what you are forced to do one way or the other uh, with such money as you have. Uh, one of the uses, uh, of course, uh, uh, one of the peaceful uses of atomic energy is uh, 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 that of the radioactive isotopes. And these are uh, powerful agents uh, uh, for diagnosis and therapy in, in medicine, doing a job uh, uh, in many instances better than you can do any other way. Also, uh, the radioactive isotopes uh, 
have useful applications in, in agriculture and in increasing your uh, food crops and uh, uh, destroying uh, uh, pests uh, in the preservation of, of food and so forth. In the other area of the uh, use of uh, nuclear power reactors to generate electricity, uh, they are reaching the uh, uh, state where they generate electricity uh, more economically than your other means of generating electricity. So but but when, could, when could a country like Ireland expect to derive these big benefits? Well, I would uh, guess that uh, in the case of the uh, use of nuclear power for the generation of electricity, that Ireland might be doing this uh, sometime in the 1970s. Is the AEC likely to contribute money towards uh, the purchase of a, a nuclear reactor, a power reactor, to small countries? Uh, for the generation of electricity, yes. I don't uh, believe that there would be any question uh, about the United States contributing to the purchase of a nuclear power reactor in the general case any more than it would uh, to the con uh, uh, contribute to the uh, purchase of a conventional plant to generate electricity. Uh, I believe that uh, the country uh, like Ireland, will purchase a nuclear power reactor to generate electricity when it's more economical for them to produce their electric power that way. And if we might move into the military sphere for a moment, how successful do you regard the test ban treaties? Uh, very successful. I think this is a very significant uh, step forward, uh, a real breakthrough uh, in relations uh, between the East and the West. I think it uh, is a, a step in the direction that we must go, which is uh, toward uh, a more comprehensive test ban treaty to be uh, followed uh, by a non-proliferation treaty to prevent the spread of nuclear weapons, and uh, uh, that in turn to be followed by a, a limitation in arms and a cutback in nuclear arms by those nations that now have them. Who else is likely to get into the nuclear club, do you think? We hope that uh, no one else is likely to get into it. We, uh, no other nation, uh, thank God, has signified its intention of entering the nuclear club. But there, some of them presumably are experimenting and would like to. What about, say, the Egyptians, the Israelis, the if Japanese, you, perhaps? Well, uh, they, none of them have indicated uh, an intention to enter. Uh, if you ask me, which of these nations could uh, manufacture uh, nuclear weapons. Uh, I would say any modern country uh, with the technical uh, and manufacturing capability, all oh, about equivalent to that of, say, Sweden or, or Japan, could, if they chose, uh, uh, produce nuclear weapons in a matter of uh, a few years. What do you think of and how practical do you regard Mr. Aiken's uh, statements on the non-proliferation of uh, this club? This is uh, uh, one approach to it. I, it is the uh, policy of the United States, as you know, uh, to um, try to attain a non-proliferation treaty. Well, how can you reassure people that all these aircraft which are carrying nuclear weapons and the nuclear weapons themselves won't explode or won't fall on some country as they did in fact in Spain quite recently. Well, I think the uh, event in uh, Spain illustrated uh, that these uh, weapons are safe uh, if they do accidentally fall. They are so uh, constructed that they just cannot be made to fire uh, unless uh, this is done intentionally by uh, the uh, person who releases the weapon for that purpose. They do not fire accidentally. They cannot fire accidentally. Yes. And finally, th there's been some discussion, whether ill-informed or not, uh, that of the dangers of Vietnam triggering off uh, another uh, or a nuclear war. What would you say about that? I have that? no comment on that.